Hey drawing enthusiasts, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will be drawing a storefront. I found a, this photo of what I believe is a Japanese barber shop on Pinterest. It's a nice looking shop. I love the overgrown creeping plants on the walls above it and the old looking facade with these uh, signs and writings. It's giving me a really cozy feeling. I think in Japan in particular, it is not unusual for there to be a store or a small family business on the first floor and a residential area on the second floor where the owners live. It's no secret that space is limited in big Japanese cities and in big cities in general, of course. That makes every square meter in the more central areas of the city valuable real estate, which sometimes results in these particular building proportions, giving the storefronts a cute and cozy feeling, which I adore. I'm using a B pencil to map out the sketch of the store initially, but you can also easily use HB or maybe even 2B just for the initial sketch. I don't recommend anything harder as in H1 because it will destroy your paper unless you're very very careful with it. Um, these pencils are typically not made for artistic drawing and also on the other hand I wouldn't recommend anything softer than 2B because these pencils are great for shading but they can smudge too much and they're a bit harder to erase so they will come into use in a later stage when we start shading. I wanted to include as much detail as possible in this drawing since I think this is part of the charm of this uh, storefront. Um, you're seeing the super sped up version of the process of getting the proportions accurate and the details in, but obviously that takes quite a bit of time in reality, um, including me erasing quite a bit, especially in the beginning. And sometimes it's even helpful to leave the drawing for a bit and come back to it later. Uh, that's that way you're looking at your drawing with new eyes, so to speak, and can catch some of your mistakes early on. Obviously I'm not going for hyperrealism, so in this type of drawing uh, there are going to be some uh, lines that are not perfectly straight or circles that um, are a bit wonky looking, but uh, I think it's okay, I even think it's fitting for this type of a drawing and the fact that it's not perfect uh, could be in some way a positive thing since it shows that it's handmade and and so on. Uh, what I do try to pay attention to however is that the perspective and the proportions aren't too off uh, so that the end result will be satisfying so I do spend some time getting these right, at least to a certain degree. Um, another tip I learned some time ago is to draw what's behind the object that you're drawing even if you don't see it. Uh, for example, I am drawing the entirety of the planks at the bottom of the store, even though a big part of them is hidden behind a big sign that I will draw later. It's just always good to think at least of what's behind the object uh, and even draw it. That way your drawing will look more convincing at the end and it will prevent you from making some bigger mistakes in the beginning. Um, so after I've decided on the main proportions of the store and I'm relatively happy with them, I'm going in and slowly adding more detail and starting to shade a bit, um, drawing the window frame for example with its thickness, 
uh, filling in the little signs um, of the store and uh, yeah that's pretty much it I will now leave you with the rest of the video I hope you enjoyed it and as usual thank you for watching